Hello, spider friends. This is Keith Johansson, also known as Grandpot. Uh, this is a video on how to install horns with a relay. There are actually two reasons why I'm doing this video. One reason is uh, Can-Am has a different way of grounding the horn, unlike other motorcycles. And the other is that puny little horn they had on there doesn't draw much in amperage, so I'm not sure what kind of load the actual horn switch can take. So it's always safer when putting on a horn, hook up a relay. So this will show you how to do it. As far as horn locations go, on my 2011, the horn is located um, on the left side of the frunk module. Not in the frunk, but on the left side by an air tunnel. On other RTs, the horn has moved. Uh, one place is up uh, by the windshield, under the triangular access cover uh, to the left. I haven't kept up with all the uh, locations, so you'll just have to find yours. Easiest way is press the horn button and keep on listening. The horns I chose to use are from PIAA. P -I, -A -A. I got them on Amazon. They're about $42 a pair, and they are light, compact, and they are really loud. The other advantage to them is they don't draw much current. Uh, together, the two of them draw about 5 amps. Let's take a look at this circuit. On most motorcycles, the horn button would go directly to the horn, and the other side of the horn would go directly to ground. The spider is a bit different. You have the horn button going directly to the horn, but then the ground side of the uh, horn actually goes to the cluster. Then it goes to ground. So if you take the ground side of the horn and put it directly to ground, that horn will blow continuously. So you have to utilize the wires that are on the spider. The connector going to the horn is HN3, Hotel November 3. Take the wire that's connected to HN3, pin 2, which will be light blue with a beige tracer, and connect it to one side of the uh, coil for the relay. Take the other side of the coil on the relay and connect it to HN3 pin 1. That'll be a uh, green and gray tracer wire. That will complete the circuit that will actuate the relay. Next, we're going to supply 12 volts directly from the battery to the horn. Get an inline fuse unit and connect it directly to the positive post on the battery. Remove the fuse so we don't have to mess around with that for right now. Run a 14 gauge wire from the uh, fuse block or the fuse uh, module and go directly to the common uh, relay post, which is probably going to be number 30 on the relay. You'll notice on the drawing on my relay I have a 10 amp fuse. That's because I'm using a relay that has a built in fuse to it. On the normally open contact of the relay, run a 14 gauge wire over to the positive side of the horn. These horns are polarity sensitive, so please make sure you get on the positive side. The negative side of the horn will now go directly to ground. One thing that's not shown on the drawing is we are actually hooking up two horns, so those, those horns have to be hooked up in parallel. Okay, the relay that I'm using is a common automotive relay, except for the fact that this one has a built-in fuse uh, connection on it and you can put in any size fuse you want, up to uh, 30 amps. It also has a ring tab on it for easy mounting. As I stated earlier, the horn location is going to vary from model year to model year. My 2011 RTS had the original horn in the uh, frunk module on the left side. What I decided to do with the new horns was put them in a very similar area in the air tunnel on the left side. Obviously the first thing I had to do was take off the front trunk module which is not covered in this video. I then had to remove the left side um, air tunnel. The tunnel removal is easy. There are two screws and four push pins. Mount the horns in the air tunnel as close to the rear as possible. Don't worry about that large hole I cut out in the top of the air tunnel. It was just another brilliant idea I had that didn't work. Installing the uh, air tunnel back in the frunk module is easy. Remember, there's four push pins and uh, two screws. 
It is important though that you have a uh, connector so that you can connect and disconnect the horns when you uh, remove or install the front uh, frunk module. In wiring this up, I chose to use a uh, independent relay and terminal strip just because it's much more flexible for assembling and mounting. Also note that the relays have a built-in fuse to them. This is uh, unique. Uh, I've never used this type before, but it seemed like a great idea. The second relay that you see that's marked ACS is for the air control system. I'm going to cover that in a different uh, video. Putting the horns in the uh, air tunnel is going to restrict the airflow to the engine a little bit, but it isn't enough to make any difference. Also, the horns could be affected by rain, but I don't ride in the rain. And if I do, uh, the horns are pointing downward, so the rain is going to be minimal. The greatest advantage is that the horns are in that air tunnel and at the front of the bike, so they are really loud from the front. And let me give you a demonstration, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and it helped you out. Have a good one.